Hi, in this video we're getting to the exciting stage. We'll actually be doing a distillation run. We've already cleared the wash and checked the SG and transferred it into the boiler. I've put in 10 shakes from the distilling conditioner and we're now right to go. Now we're going to attach our reflux condenser to the boiler lid. Remove the condenser from its packaging. Remove the nut and o-ring and slide the unit through our lid. We then replace the o-ring. The o-ring always goes underneath and tighten the nut. We can now put the assembled unit back onto the boiler. Before doing up the clips, we're going to show you how to position the thermometer probe into the thermo well. Assembling the thermometer, the plug into the thermometer unit and on the back we turn it on. The th probe goes into the thermo well position here. It is a tight fit but it will go in. You want it to slide in that far. Once we've got the probe in, we can rotate the unit ready for collection and do up the clips. Now it's time to place our product arm. This screws in to the brass connector on the condenser. It's a simple matter of rotating it through and it only needs to be finger tight. The washer will take up the slack. Make sure the breather hole is facing up and there's a slight downward slope to the product tube. At this stage, turn it to the off position. We can now connect our water fittings. The water in, make sure you get a nice, good, solid click and it's in place firmly and the water out. It doesn't matter which way around they are. We test the water, make sure everything is flowing and there's no leaks. Looks good. We need about one and a half liters per minute. We're now going to set our thermometer to remind us when to turn the water on. We want to turn the water on 10 degrees above the ambient temperature where you're working. Here we can see in, Tas in sunny Tasmania it's 18 degrees, so we're going to set our time, uh, temperature, alarm temperature to 28. Put it somewhere where you can actually see it and keep keeping a good eye on it. Now we can turn the boiler on. Turn on both the switches to get full 2200 watts of power and it'll take about 45 minutes to heat up. We can now hear the boiler working. It's starting to make a, nice, a crackling sound, ready to go. While that's starting to warm up, let's get our collection side of things ready. We've made sure that the product tube is sloping slightly downwards. We can use an upturned filter bucket as a base and our poor max measuring jug to collect the heads. We want to collect about 100 mils. Our alarm's now sounding at 28 degrees. Let's press the up arrow to make the alarm turn off. We can now turn on the water. What's actually happening in the condenser is the boiler is very hot, it's already boiling. The steam has got up to here and has now raised the temperature at this point where the thermometer is by 10 degrees. We're now going to reset our thermometer to 80 degrees. Put it back where we can see it. And you'll be surprised how quickly that rises. It should be take about five to 10 minutes. Okay, five minutes or so has passed and we can see that the temperature has risen up to about 79 degrees. It'll stabilize around 78 degrees. Each thermometer is slightly different. Um, where it stabilizes will be a true reading for the ethanol. As you can see, it started to drip. As you can 
see on our thermometer, it has settled down to 78 degrees and we've got a steady drip happening. What we're collecting at the moment uh, is what's commonly referred to as the heads. So this is all the stuff that we don't want. It contains a very small amount of methanol and other small chemicals that will taint your spirit. We've modified these taps so that in the off position, only a very small amount of product can pass down the tube. Most of it's coming back down into the condenser, increasing the reflux action. The condenser from here below here is very hot. Make sure not to touch it. The top area is where the cooling is happening and that is still warm. We're going to collect about 100 mils of the heads and we're going to discard this. It's actually very good for washing windows and floors. We can collect in our Pormax jugs. These are scientific proof and designed to work with strong solvents and ethanols. So they're okay for collecting spirits. We've now collected 100 mils of the heads, which we can now discard. And we can keep collecting our ethanol. We'll now turn into the normal fast mode and you can see how quickly the flows increased. The collection output will always vary with how much sugar or fermentables were in your wash. With our nine kilos of dextrose, we're expecting to collect four and a half liters total. In this stage, about four liters. What we're waiting for now is for the temperature to rise and after all the ethanol has been collected and our alarm to sound at 80 degrees. Once our system settled and we've got a nice steady flow of production coming out of our output tube, we can turn off the 500 watt element for a more gentle process. We need the 1700 watt element working at all times to make sure we've got a good rolling boil in the boiler to produce a full head of steam to make the reflux action work. Okay, so the alarm sounding, we can see that it's reached 80 degrees. We can turn the alarm off by just pressing the up arrow. You can see we've collected four liters. This is the good quality spirit from the majority of the wash. There's not that much left in there. But what we can do now is if we turn the tap to slow mode into the off position, we'll force a majority of the liquid back down the condenser and increase the reflux ratio. You'll see that our outputs slowed again to that first little drops that we had at the start of the process. And you'll notice that this temperature will slowly fall back down to the 78 and we're ready to go again. Now that we're in slow mode and we've slowed to a small trickle, we're going to collect about another three to 500 mils of good quality spirit. Now is a good time to test the strength of the alcohol we've collected already using our alcometer that came with your kit. Make sure the alcohol is cooled to around 20 degrees before you take a measurement. You can see here reading off the scale that we're about 95% alcohol. This is a very strong alcohol and should not ever be consumed directly. The alarm sounding for the second time now. We can again turn off the alarm by pressing the up arrow. And you can see we've collected well over four and a half liters of good quality spirit. It's now time to turn everything off. We can turn the boiler off at the rear and we can turn the water off. The drips will continue for a little while as that product tube drains. Um, congratulations, you're now a distiller. Uh, we've still got one more job to do. We've got to clean everything, but before we do that, we need to let everything cool down. It'll take about an hour or two hours. Okay, the boil has cooled down now sufficiently for us to take the lid off and not burn ourselves. And we've transferred our collected spirit into a glass demijohn ready for filtering later on. Turn the power off, remove the plug. Take out the probe from the rear. Remove the hoses. And undo the clip for the lid. We'll keep the condenser on the lid for now. Now we'll rinse that in warm water. We can now empty the boiler. 
It's easiest to take a few jug loads out to make it a bit lighter to handle. Alright, we've emptied the boiler of enough of the wash to make it easy to carry. We now tip out the rest. And rinse with warm water. Clean the surfaces in the inside with a wet cloth. We don't want to use any chemicals at this stage. Once you're done, store the boiler upside down to dry. We're a bit crammed for space here in the, in the lab, so I've actually had to remove the uh, lid from the condenser to make everything fit into our laundry trough. Just run warm water through the bottom of the condenser and it will flush all the way through. The condenser is not a sealed unit. Do this for about three to five minutes until all smells are gone. When you're finished, put it back on its lid and allow it to dry before storing away. Okay, so we've cleaned everything away. We're now ready to move on to filtering, which will be in the next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.